Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw a box plot with mean values in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data and if you click on this data frame object you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our original data frame contains of two columns whereby the column values contains numeric values and the column group is a grouping indicator for the different box plots that we want to show in our plot. Now in order to draw these data as a box plot it also makes sense to aggregate our data to a data frame that is called data means and in this data frame I'm storing the mean values of each group. So if you run lines 6 to 8 of the code another data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data means and if you click on this data frame you can see that we have created a new data frame which is consisting of two columns whereby the first column is containing the four groups of our data and the second column is containing the corresponding mean values of each group. Now if we want to draw these data with a basic installation of the R programming language we can apply the box plot function as you can see in line 10 of the code and if you run this line of code you can see that a new box plot is created at the bottom right of our studio which is showing one box plot for each of our groups A, B, C and D. However by default the box plot function is showing the median values in the middle of each box plot and in this tutorial I want to explain how to add the mean values on top of this. So for this we first need to apply the points function as you can see in lines 11 to 14 of the code and within the points function I'm using our data means data frame object that we have created before and I'm plotting a red point at each mean value for each of the box plots. So if you run lines 11 to 14 of the code you can see that our plot is updated and as you can see in each box plot one new red dot has appeared and these four red dots correspond to the mean values that we have stored in our data frame data means. Now in addition to that we can also add text labels to illustrate that these red dots are the mean values and we can do that by applying the text function as you can see in lines 15 to 18 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that labels are added to each of the points. So in this case we have added the text mean 0.2, mean 0, minus 0 0.1 and so on. So the text labels are also representing the value that is shown in the red dot. So in this first example I have explained how to draw a box plot with mean values using the basic installation of the R programming language. However it is also possible to use add-on packages to draw the mean value in a box plot and in the second example of this tutorial I want to show you how to use the ggplot2 package to draw a box plot with mean values and in order to use the functions of the ggplot2 package we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 20 and 21 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 21 and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot, geomboxplot and stat summary and in order to draw a box plot we need to apply the first two lines of code. However in this case we want to add the mean value on top and for that reason we specify in line 25 that we want to draw a red point at the mean value positions of each box plot and in line 26 we specify that we also want to add a text label in red which is showing the value of our mean of each box plot. So if you run lines 23 to 27 of the code you can see that another plot is created in this typical ggplot2 style and as you can see the values that are shown in this plot are exactly the same as in the first example. So in this tutorial I have explained in two examples how to draw a box plot with mean values in the R programming language. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in case you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.